Uh-oh, uh-oh, are we in this thing? Is the melanin on? Yes, it is. Hey, what's up, everybody? This is your girl, Miss P. Hopefully, you are doing fantastic. I am doing well. I'm sorry, y'all. I speak with my hands. It's another Thursday. Happy Thursday to you all. Make sure to go ahead and like this video. Subscribe if you haven't already and follow your girl on social media. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It's time for another Untitled Foolery. I'm really excited about this. If you don't know, now you know. Rest in peace, the biggie baby, baby. I think in songs, that's just how my brain works. Untitled foolery is literally just the randomness that's going on in my brain. I want y'all to see my, my tea. Randy Watson, yes. Coming to America, did y'all watch it? What did you think? I thought it was so cute. Honey, I chuckled. Why is everybody trying to come for this film? I'm a little confused. My biggest thing, any movie you see, any series, whatever, honey, they done got their check and they moved on to the next one, okay? We are just never satisfied. What's wrong with us? Speaking of uh, something I'm not satisfied with, let's roll on into the next topic. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry, this interview, I told y'all about it last week. I said they about to do an interview with Oprah. It's going to be some royal tea, okay? And the baby was it. That's so, oh, I needed some popcorn. Like, actually, I had some chips while I was watching this, and I was like, I almost bit my finger off. That's how much tea was in this interview. I said, first of all, for Oprah to not even put this on her own network, we going to CBS, honey. Everybody got to see this shit. But my confuzzlement is why is everybody so shocked at this treatment that they have received. Because I'm sitting here like, you know, ain't no Negroes in the royal palace. Y'all remember when they got married? All of them were looking at Megan's mama like, and where is she staying? What quarters is she going to be at? I'm a little confused. If they treated Princess Diana like this and she was white as snow, you know they ain't going to let Megan's ass flourish fully. Absolutely not. Somebody had a good point, though, because I've been reading so many things on Instagram. Honey, that's the new news outlet. Kate wasn't fully hyped up by the public, where we were just like, go make, you better do that shit, Megan. She didn't steal her thunder, but the thunder was stolen, okay? And furthermore, little Archie didn't have nothing to do with this. Let Archie live his little life. Archie ain't even held his head up good yet. Archie ain't even walked good yet. And child, they got another one on the way. I can't, I can't. They paper bag testing a little man, and that's his birthright. Now, Megan, I just want to know this, and maybe this is going to be on part two. Who said it? Now, somebody in the royal camp said, now, nah, th it wasn't the queen and the king. They ain't had nothing to do with that. But we don't know that. We don't know. I have a feeling. Uh-huh. Black Eyed Peas. That they had something to do with that. And bless her heart. Talking about it would be very damaging. I was like, girl, you up here now? What you want to say? And Harry want all the smoke. You can tell Harry don't give not a damn insight. He bout it, bout it. Megan was like, whoa, whoa, little daddy. We don't want all the smoke. We just wanted the lighter. Uh-uh. Harry wanted the full-on brush fry. Turn it out. Megan, tell it. Tell who did it. Free yourself, girl. Tell. I really want to know, girl. Give me the tea, girl. You were giving good tea. I mean, Oprah was even like, bitch, come on. And we don't see Oprah do that often, but she was like, girl, 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 this is the best I done got all pandemic. Give me something. Speaking of something, Pierce, Morgan, like, what's wrong with you? You really in your feelings, big dog. Like, I don't know if your suit was too tight. I'm really confused as to why you had to storm off the show. Leave Good Morning Britain. Is that what it's called? Sir, really? You gonna leave your whole check over this? Wow. Do your job. Get that check. Get all off. Talk about this amongst your friends. Honey, you don't have to. Uh, ew. Ew. Speaking of ill, uh, <laughs> maskless future, mask on, fuck it, mask off, Okay. In Texas, and I believe it's Mississippi, uh-huh, no mask. You ain't got to wear no mask no more. You can be full capacity, do what you want to do. Child, I think it's in Georgia, a.k.a. pinpointing it in Atlanta as well. It looked like it from what I've been seeing. You just out here naked? I don't even feel right anymore going anywhere without my mask on. Where was I the other day? I Nope. I was going in Harris Teeter the other day. It was late. You know, hair is to be open all times of the night. I went in real quick. I just had to get me some salad mix, okay? I walked in, forgot I didn't have my mask on. And I was like, wasn't nobody looking at me, but I was just like, I had a scarf. I was like, oh, oh my God. I went out to the car, got my mask, and walked in all swift like nothing happened. Child, without your mask, you just naked in the face. 
You ain't got nothing going on. And actually, this is really going to help everybody with these springtime allergies, okay? Because you covering up your nose. You ain't breathing in all that nastiness. It's just going to be great. And also for the what? Coronavirus. I don't trust it. I don't trust it. Uh-uh. And I read somewhere else that uh, the governors of those states or whatnot basically had something in fine print talking about, hey, if it ain't no six feet thing and there's a lot of people around, go ahead and put your mask back off. What? This ain't safe. What is happening? Uncle Joe, you can't do nothing about this. Y'all know TikTok lately has been my best source of entertainment. Did y'all? Know what they were fighting over whether it was candles some um new little body sprays or some new little sanitizers honey but it was one of the crew members because she had on a little apron thing because mm -hmm, and she had a basket and then another little girl she was coming at her and then they were just i was like oh, i don't think it's semi-annual sale time honey i was about to go to blows one time over some peach bellini candles okay you told me that these bitches was 12 dollars. she was like no ma'am if you look at the fine print make the print bigger like you can't get really pissed in bath and body works and stores like that i used to fight a lot when i was little i don't do that no more so uh -uh, you're not gonna take me there you not. I don't know what they were fighting about. I didn't hear what was going on. I ain't get no context. It was just real quick on TikTok. So I don't know what happened. People be trying you in these stores, honey. And I'm so glad that we have to wear the mask now because you cannot see my full expression. Listen to this, y'all. All 16 co-owners of Tidal reportedly received 8.9 million payout following Jay-Z's recent deal. This includes Yonce, Ye, Rihanna, Nicki Minaj, and more included. Here's the problem I have with it. I wasn't included in the deal. Why didn't they call me? They could have said, yo, T, we gonna put you in here real quick. A silent, silent, aka you ain't got the buddy we got partner. And then, you know, we just gonna lift you up. You know what I'm saying? I could have dealt with that. I'm trying to expand my little portfolio. Shit, I ain't got no portfolio. But I'm trying to do my thing out here. You know what I'm saying? Oh, but kudos to them. That's so nice. $8.9 million to add on to the millions they already got. I'd be damned. We're going to end it off with this. Lil Nas X made some interesting comments in regards to the unity of uh, two individuals in marriage. -dom. He said he loves weddings and stuff like that, but he wants to normalize not doing the whole marriage thing and being with somebody for the rest of your life. I was like, what? <laughs> Well, sir, don't get married then. Like, I don't know why we have to normalize this. Some people actually like getting married. Some people love that. I mean, granted, I love a good old nasty wedding, honey. I love the little horse divers getting cute and stuff. I love it. They play the little music. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And then you get fucked up. I love a good old nasty wedding. Y'all need to pray for this generation, honey. I'm not saying that for all of the youth out here. But, uh, some things can be bent. Some rules can be changed. Even me talking about the royals and stuff, honey. Somebody need to come up in there and change some things. That's why they look so old. They're just setting their ways. Like, something needs to change. And something needs to happen. So, yes, yeah, certain things need to change. But, baby, some things don't bother that. Mm. Now that was the stuff that was in my brain and that I've seen this week that made me go, what? Down below in the comment section, I would love to know what did you think about these topics. Thank y'all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I will see y'all on the next video. Peace, love, and all that good stuff. God bless. Bye.